Hey everyone, it's Maisie Mila here. We love bird flies and caterpillars. And you probably heard about the life cycle of a bird fly. I mean, you can find it at t-shirts and Target. It's everywhere. But there's actually two different versions. One says egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. And the other says egg, caterpillar, cocoon, butterfly. So what exactly is the difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis? Let's find out. So chrysalis versus cocoon. Are they different? Or is it just two names for the same thing? To figure that out, let's take a closer look at the life cycle of a bird fly. All bird flies and moths lay their eggs on plants. Then the caterpillars hatch and start eating the plant the mother laid them on. And caterpillars eat a lot. Eating is pretty much all they do. Eat and grow. Eat and grow. And eat and grow some more. But caterpillars don't grow the same way we do. Caterpillars are invertebrates, which means they don't have a skeleton. At least not like we do. Instead, they have an exoskeleton, which means the skeleton's on the outside. And these exoskeletons don't grow very much. So, every time a caterpillar gets too big for its exoskeleton, it just takes it off and grows a new one, a bigger new one. They split their old skin right down the middle, and they squirm them on out. So what does that have to do with chrysalis versus cocoon? So when a caterpillar is ready to change into a bird of fly, it shows its last layer of caterpillar skin. And underneath that layer, is a chrysalis. So a chrysalis is actually an exoskeleton. It is part of a caterpillar's body. Every single caterpillar, both butterflies and moths, make a chrysalis. All of them. And after the caterpillar had become a butterfly inside the chrysalis, they slide right on out of that layer too. So what then is a cocoon? Caterpillars can all make silk, kind of like spider silk. They use the silk to anchor themselves. This monarch chrysalis is attached to the ceiling by silk. And this swallowtail has made a loop to hold itself onto the branch. But some caterpillars also use silk to make themselves a cocoon. A cocoon is a safe place to hide when they change to a butterfly or moth. The caterpillar surrounds itself with a silken cocoon. Then inside that cocoon, it becomes a chrysalis. So all caterpillars change into a chrysalis. But not all caterpillars make a cocoon. Most of the time, bird flies don't make cocoons, and moths do. But there are exceptions. So there you have it. The difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Until next time, bye. bye.